I bet every one of you has mastered the addition of integers. But today, we get into the slightly tricky territory of subtraction of integers. And if you missed out on our video of addition of integers, check it out right now and then come back to watch this one. Let's use the chips from that episode. Some are positive representing positive one, some are negative representing negative one. Let's start with a simpler one. Two positive integers, 7 and 2. So 7 minus 2. Minus means to remove. So here we can take 7 positive chips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Since it's a subtraction and we have to remove 2 positive chips. So removing 2 positive chips, we get 5 positive chips. So the answer over here is 5. You can see it on the number line too. 7 minus 2 means 7 steps to the right and then since it's subtraction we move to the opposite way which is to the left. So 2 steps to the left we land on number 5. This was quite simple. Now what if we change 2 to minus 2. So 7 minus minus 2. So again we take 7 positive chips like this. Now, how do we remove two negative chips when there aren't any on the table? So, we need to bring two negative chips somehow. How do we do that? Here, we bring back what we learned in the previous episode, which is 1 minus 1 is 0. So, if we add a positive chip and a negative chip, we get nothing but 0. So, keeping that in mind, Let's add one more set of positive and a negative chip, like this. After all this, the value 7 doesn't change. But now, we have two minus chips with us. We can easily remove them. So I'm removing the two minus chips over here and we are left with 9 positive chips. So the answer is 9. Even on the number line, 7 is positive means we take 7 steps to the right and now to subtract we change the direction and move to the left but wait we are subtracting a negative number so we need to reverse the direction again so technically we are moving to the right so we move to the right of 7 2 steps and we land on number 9 let's take another quick one what if we change 7 to minus 7? Minus 7 minus 2. That means we want to subtract the positive 2 from the negative 7 and hence we will need to first take 7 negative chips. 2, 4, 6 and 7. And then remove 2 positive chips. But oh no, we don't have positive chips with us. So for that, we add two sets of positive negative chips like we did before. Right, now we have two positive chips with us. We can easily remove these two positive chips and what are we left with? Nine negative chips. So the answer is minus nine. We can see it in the number line too. Minus seven means we take 7 steps to the left and now for minus 2 we move 2 more steps to the left and we land on number minus 9. Now if you look closely when you are subtracting a negative number like we did with 7 minus of minus 2 we are technically adding the two numbers. So whenever you encounter a minus sign before a negative integer change the sign to plus so over here 7 minus of minus 2 is nothing but 7 plus 2 that is 9. Now here's a question for you to solve. Tell me what's minus 7 minus of minus 2. Comment below and stay tuned. 